All right, hey everybody. So I'm gonna talk you through this next part of our DNA model. You guys can't do this with your model, so you'll just have to watch these videos. Um, but eventually they had a DNA model. I had it all together and I started cutting it and it kind of started falling apart. Um, so the, these used to be total toothpicks connected and eventually I gave the, um, the students a DNA code that they had to have in correct marshmallow colors. So when we look at this, pinks are T's, oranges are A's, yellows are C's, and greens are G's. So this goes T, A, C, 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 G, G, A, C, A, T, C, and then they did the complementary bases on the other side, all connected by the backbone to the DNA. So a nucleotide on here we can see is um, that phosphate, the black licorice, to the sugar, the red licorice, to then the marshmallows with the uh, uh, toothpicks, which are nitrogen bases, one nucleotide right there. Um, and then we know that those nitrogen bases are connected by hydrogen bond. So what I did is to model transcription, we took RNA polymerase, that enzyme uh, that breaks those hydrogen bonds in our model is a scissors. So RNA polymerase went through and it, uh, it uh, cut through all those hydrogen bonds and it's separating these DNA pieces here, okay? So then we have our template strand. That's the one that we're, we had the TACs on. Um, that is a template strand in which we are going to figure out the RNA language in order to make a protein. So for RNA language and nitrogen bases to match that up, it's all the same language, except that we have, instead of T's, we have U's. So again, we would do the same thing um, where we would have a T to A here, and those would bond together. But here, where we have an A to T, since thymine isn't in protein language, we have to switch this marshmallow out with a, um, with a uracil which is gonna be a new marshmallow, which is gonna be a white marshmallow. So now we see our A to U relationship, which happens in, um, which happens in protein language. Ah, oh, these things are sticking in my hand, just driving me nuts. So then next, I mean, we have our A to C, A to C, or sorry, C to C, C to C. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it right. C to G, C to G, C to G. And then we have our G to C, G to C. But now here we have another orange marshmallow, which should be in normal DNA language, A to T, which is pink. But we know that thymine or T's are not in RNA language or protein language. So we have to take that out and we have to replace it with a white marshmallow and bond that on there. Then we have our C to G. Here again, we would have um, an A to T, but we can't do that T, so we gotta replace it with a white marshmallow. The marshmallows are getting pretty crusty. And now we have that um, uracil there. Now we have a T, T can still go to A, and then the C can go to a G. So now we have this whole part here, which then they bond back to a backbone, and we take these off, and we have our RNA molecule, which if we're looking at our RNA molecule, which you might want to write down, is our A, U, G, 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 C, C, U, G, U, A, G. I'll say it one more time. A, T, sorry, not T. A, U, G, 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 C, C, U, G, U, A, G. That's going to be the coding on the RNA background. So if you look at your package, you have... Um, you have to write down the mRNA sequence that you have on there and then answer the couple questions for part three transcription. 
All right, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye.